Okay, I'm going to take you for a tour of my 2000 Safari Zanzibar. As you can see, the paint is darn nice on the thing. I keep it polished. Every time I go out, I clean it. Every time I come back, I clean it. I took the awnings out. You can see there's awnings all the way around. I don't remember the uh, capacity of the uh, propane. I think it's like 30 or 35 pounds. You've got storage compartments all the way around. Uh, one of the nice features about this motorhome is the manifold system that they give you. You can turn off any part of your uh, coach if you have a water leak and still be able to use the rest of the coach. Continuing around, I've got the generator running. I don't know if you can hear it. It's a 7.5K um, Onan quiet diesel and it is very quiet and very efficient then it has this is your inverter it was a 1500 watt inverter when they put it in I had it rebuilt to a 2000 watt around the back of the coach those of you that aren't familiar with um, Safari of that era these murals were painted one by one uh, so it is hand painted and it is a work of art. It's got a backup camera as you can see. Okay, we've got awnings all, again all the way around. This compartment is um, where you can check the oil and the transmission. The battery compartment, I don't think you're going to be able to see much, but there's six six volt house batteries, two 12 volt starter batteries. There is a solar panel on the roof. It's a cloudy day today. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's putting out 14.4 volts. Uh, the batteries are charged to, uh, putting out 14.6, the batteries are charged to 14.4, if I'm reading that correctly. Yeah, I think I am. Okay. The, the main awning, there's no rips, no tears. Uh, it's all good. Plenty of storage underneath. That's my old boom box. We don't use it anymore with the uh, telephone or yeah, the new phones and um, you know all that stuff. You don't really need CDs anymore. Lots of storage, very deep um, storage. The um, storage compartments are heated in the winter time. There's an awning over the uh, entry door. Okay, I'm going to go around the coach again. I closed all the compartment doors so you can see the condition of the paint. The only um, flaws that I know of other than normal little things you get on the road um, is the, the rear view mirrors. I uh, have some peeling on the clear coat on the top and right along this edge here, the clear coat is kind of bubbling. But the rest of the paint, as you can see, there, there's some road dings, not dings, but you know, little rock things. But for the most part, it is pretty darn nice. There's the front. Try to get as much of this in as I can. I also opened the slide so you can see what the slide look like, looks like when it's open. I wish it were a brighter day. Um, kind of had a cloudy May so far here in uh, California. But again, I, I, I think you can see uh, paint's beautiful. Can't get as far away here, I'm up against a bank. And again, the, the awning uh, is in great shape. There is really nothing wrong with it. Okay, we'll go inside.
Okay, I turned on all the lights in here because the light outside is not that great today. Here we are in the bedroom. It's in the back of the coach. These are the two full uh, size closets that I was telling you about that you can hang uh, uh, long pants or clothes in. There's one on the other side of the bed. Uh, there's cabinets on that side. There used to be a little, I think it was about a 12 inch TV. We took it out, we never used it. Um, there's a sliding door to close this compartment off and then another um, cabinet set of cabinets on this side. The bathroom is quite large. Uh, it's the thing we liked about the coach the most. Um, the bathroom toilet room is, uh, as you can see, plenty spacious and um, also private. Then there is a tub and shower and uh, enclosure. There's a skylight above the uh, tub and shower. Then on this side of the bathroom, there's more hanging closets. I don't know what I got in there, but anyway, hanging closets on both sides here, and then drawers down below. A little vanity on this side. I shouldn't say little, because for most motorhomes, it's a pretty good size. And you can see there's a, a light uh, of, of fan up above, so that it brings in more light naturally also. Okay, then going into the living room, this is your um, two-door refrigerator side-by-side. -side. And when I say side-by-side, -side, one side is the freezer, ice maker, and of course the other side is the uh, refrigerator. This is a control panel for your to check your batteries, your um, uh, all your uh, holding tanks. Uh, that's where the slide out control is, and this is where you turn on and off the um, water heater. Okay, looking around in here, there's your fridge again. You've got a uh, three burner stove top. That is a microwave convection oven combination. Um, double sink, cabinets upper and lower, uh, all the way along the kitchen. This bed makes into, or this couch rather, makes into a bed. It's what they call a jackknife bed. And taking you through the rest of the living area here. This is the dining table. This dining table has two leaves that go in it. And you can pull it out. It comes out quite a bit farther than this is right now. And um, we have seated six people around, around the table. With the leaves out. And still you have enough room to walk around in the coach without any problem at all. Okay, this is um, the, the uh, recliner chair, a rocking re recliner chair, and a um, little lamp table. This is the uh, custom-made computer table that I mentioned in the uh, written description. That can be removed. It just slides in and slides out. So when you're traveling or when you're not using it, you just slide it out, fold it up, and uh, you can put it away. I didn't mention the counter or the uh, cabinets up top, but there's cabinets full length of uh, the living and kitchen area. And it's that way on both sides. Well, I guess these don't go over the couch. Huh? Two seats are very, very comfortable. They're uh, called ultra leather. That's a man-made product it's not leather but it's actually even more comfortable and cooler than than leather both of the uh, seats have a uh, six-way all electric um, um, adjustment on them so it's quite easy to find your comfort uh, the the uh, radio that i put in is now apple carplay or android um, compatible so you can play your music use your navigation um, take and receive um, hands-free calls so it's quite nice uh, this is a flat screen TV that was upgraded this didn't come with the coach but uh, that pretty much takes care of the interior of the coach I, I hope you've seen everything you want if you would like more pictures or, or a picture of something specific that I didn't show you can email me thank you